make it real loud for Marconi. Marconi! Where is that small little tucker? There he is. Going the wrong way, Marconi, but it's all right. We love you. Yeah, you sit far, kind of far away. I hope you, I hope, I hope you fucking lose your battle. <laughs> Hell yeah, Marconi. Good to see you, doggy. What's going on, dog? Good to see you, man. Do you know who his opponent is? I know who his opponent is. Bring him up, dog. I'm going to bring up his opponent. His next opponent. I don't know where he's from. Okay. <laughs> he's kind of, where's that? Redwood. Redwood City? Okay. Redwood. Oh, I, that's not a place. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? That's not a fucking city. Yeah, kind of we have corn. Yeah, yeah. There's white people here. <laughs> so does Alan Beater. No, but honestly, this dude's a lot of fun. He is an amazing artist. Please give it up for Big Al, y'all. Yeah! All right. Uh, Al, I know you've done it. Marconi, I haven't seen you battle. Okay, all right. Hey, it's already starting. That shit was corny as fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just I was gonna leave it up to you, dog, but now I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to Big Al. Big Al, you wanna go first? Or you wanna defer? I'll defer. You're gonna defer. Marconi's gonna go first. You guys make it real loud for the first battle. Jabs here, nothing crazy, just feel the room. Big Al, you look like you could be a villain straight out of a Captain Underpants book. <laughs> hey. Marconi, you're young. He's young, he's fit. He's at least half my age. He's a perfect host for a myriad of disease. <laughs> I'm so young, I don't even know what a myriad of disease is. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to draw you. If you guys don't know Big Al, he's a uh, very important character in the comedy universe. He, he draws all of us and stuff like that. I respect this man. I just want to say that before I disrespect him. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I started off with a quick jab here. Uh, Big Al. Big Al likes to sing during his uh, comedy sets. It's pretty cool. He's got a beautiful voice. I really like when Big Al sings because it gives us a break from his lame ass jokes. <laughs> you know, speaking of lame. Um, <laughs> You know, Marconi, he runs this great open mic over in Antioch. And <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> he runs this great open mic over in Antioch. Except I thought it was a workshop because the last time that I was there, um, the last time that I was there, I got so much feedback from the speakers, more feedback than a gaggle of Karens, um, you know, which, which, by the way, is a complaint. I drew you. It's a, uh, this isn't a joke. I'm done. I thought it would take me the whole set. <laughs> Show it to the class here. You can keep that, no charge. Oh, Three. thank you. There you go. Uh, okay, here comes my next, uh, we, did a, we did a jab cross. So we're gonna do a jab cross. So, okay, Big Al, if you can't tell by the way he's dressed, he is a prop comedian. <laughs> he brings various items to the stage, such as a uh, praying mantis, a carpet, a, um, a small little, a smaller version of the hat that he's wearing a chainsaw, and sometimes a pumpkin. And uh, usually by the end of his set, I usually just wish that the only prop that he brought was a gun to my head. 
Um, <laughs> you know, Marconi, he's a, he's a great social median. Um, yeah, his, um, his social media is suicide blogs. I don't know anybody else who has a social media about their bowel movements. <laughs> um, yeah, every time he drops a post, he loses a little bit of himself. <laughs> I'm glad you said that, dude. I've been eating a whole bunch of those fucking areola fries or whatever the fuck they I'm about to shit my pants, man. My stomach is turned, bro. Okay, one more joke. We did the jab cross hook. Let's do the back kick. Uh, big Al. Big Al. Big Al. AKA Big Alligator. Uh, Big Al. I don't know why they call him Big Al. He's not really that big, honestly, especially when you compare him to people like Jamar. shirt? Uh, no, he's not a gambler. He took it off at the last thing. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, he took it off. <laughs> and the crowd was so, um, shoot. The crowd, damn it, I'm pulling a Jamar. No, sorry. <laughs> the, the, the crowd, <laughs> Damn it, what was it? The crowd. You know, I'm old. <laughs> uh, the crowd was, was, mm. oh, excited? No. Enthralled? No. The crowd was impressed by his humility. Um, but you know, um, if he was outside of a school, he looked like an escrima stick with hair. <laughs> and if there was a low flying seagull, <laughs> they would have a field day. <laughs> that was uh, that was something to see there, huh? I ain't never seen a nigga have dementia right in the middle of telling a joke before. <laughs> hey, that shit was crazy. They had a silver alert for this nigga during this motherfucker. <laughs> you know, the only thing that really threw me was that fucking Big Al's family was laughing harder at the jokes than everybody else. I was like, yo, Al, like, maybe have a talk with them on the way home. Uh, yeah. That was almost as distracting as the little special needs kid doing karate. <laughs> <laughs>
Begal, you look like a burrito for the guitar. <laughs> I don't even know what that nigga said, and that shit's still funny. Macaroni. Macaroni. Yeah, you were doing so pretty bad because initially, just like your hair. <laughs> God damn. God damn. When, you, when you made a comeback, I like your hair. <laughs> I'll give this one to Macroni. All right. One to one. Amir, be the tiebreaker. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what a way to find out you have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Yeah.